So, you know, again, I said I was going to take a break from YouTube. I literally can't. Like, I can't, I can't stop doing something I love. Hey. Oh, my God. I'm literally not flexible. Why did I do that? Silly salmon. Oh. It was all skilly also. Ew, why did I just post that? I didn't mean to. I just bought down. Oh my god, two messages, I'm famous. Sorry. I gotta shut up. Hey everyone, it's Neve here and today in this week's video I'm going to be doing advice for girls. So I'm not the best at giving advice, but I'm just gonna give um, my advice in my opinion, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna be reading these names out, so no, you're not getting shouted. So the first one is how to deal with anxiety and stress. Okay, this video is gonna be long as frick. So when it comes to anxiety and stress, I'm one of the worst people to actually have anxiety and stress. Like there's been times where I've actually turned down shopping trips with my mum to like go to Letterkenny and go buy an outfit for Pulse. Just for the plain fact that people around me, I feel like they're just staring at me and when people stare at me, I just feel like I'm picking my nose. Because when you just stare at me and you're like smiling, you're holding your phone, I feel like I'm just doing something that's humiliating myself. So I'm still dealing with that kind of stuff, but when it comes to stress with school and stress with friends and stress with boyfriends, I would definitely say one of the things I do is turn off all my lights, put in my headphones and just ball my eyes out to get everything out. That's one of the ways I clear my system. Another thing you can do is actually FaceTime people who you actually trust. If you need to tell them the problem, you can, or you can just play like Roblox, that's what me and Aaron do. A person who's only just getting their confidence back and being told they're not good enough and confidence is gone again. Okay, here's the thing. Whoever tells you something that like, oh, you've got a big nose or something, which I get a lot, trust me, all day, every day, people. You need to get that person out of your life immediately. And as much as you're going to say, oh my god, I'm going to miss them so much and you're going to cry over them, it's better in the long run, trust me. And my confidence is actually very up there right now due to like, I have really good family and my friends are very supportive. If you look at my Instagram, I literally post pictures of my abs on Instagram, which are actually flabs, it was facetune people. But then the men do be loving it. Anyways, that's not the point. What I'm trying to get across here is talk, talk the toxic people. <laughs> what I'm trying to get across here is cut the toxic people out of your life and only talk to the people who actually care about you, who tell you you're gorgeous. Don't be afraid to show yourself off because bitch, you're fab. Another person asked how to be more self-confident. Now thank god god decided to give me a bit of a glow up because if you guys saw me in sixth class, would you act- Shut up. Would you actually did, um, I'm sorry for your eyes. If you are in sixth class first year and you're not going out to discos yet because people in my area, they only go out in second year, like summer second year, Easter second year. Do not wear makeup. The first thing you're going to want to have when you're trying to be more self-confident is clear skin. So I know I do makeup a lot, but I put on a shit ton of products to keep all them pimples and spots away. So please, if you are in first year, practice makeup maybe once every month or once every three weeks because... Why is my light doing that? If you're doing makeup... Shut... Stop. I'm flickering. Because if you're doing makeup like every day for like three weeks straight, you're literally screaming, give me acne. Some of the products that I use that are very good for your skin is like the Clarinins new set of stuff, like the moisturizer and everything. I also use the Aveeno Cooling Methyl uh, Cream and Clear Salt. Clear Salt is amazing. Just not feeling like myself much recently and I could be with all my friends but still feel alone. I feel the exact same way sometimes. If you're still watching this right now, comment down below and let me know, is it just me or does like 2020 just not feel real? If I'm being honest, I don't know what advice to give you because I'm on the exact same boat. Sometimes I'm with my friends and I just feel like dead on their bed. How do you study? I find it so hard and it's a struggle. Well, I don't study. I kind of just wing it. Now I'm only really joking. What I do is I wake up early in the morning. I'm on about like 7am people. I down a glass of water because the second you wake up and you down water, it's literally like the same thing as having coffee but healthier. It makes you feel wide awake and your brain is just refreshed with like nice water. If it's spellings you're trying to learn or if you're trying to learn like different facts off by heart, learn them like in little sections. For example, I had a test a few weeks ago on like 30 words in German. We actually never did the test, fun fact, please don't tell her. Every night I would have took six words. I would have took six in the morning and six at night and then I would go over the six that I did at night in the next morning and then learn another six, so that's 12 technically. And yeah, that's kind of how I study. All my friends leave me out all the time and I'm always their second option. Okay, they're not your real friends. Luckily I have such a good friend group where we don't drink, we don't smoke, we don't do any of that kind of stuff. We're just crackheads, we just don't need drink to have a good time. What I would say is at the same time as trying to hang out with them, try like 
slowly move and start talking to other people and then if you start talking to them more you can slowly leave that group because if you're always their second option they will not care if you leave them for a better person to be honest advice for second years when every other year hits you do you know what i was in the second year phase and once the second year phase is over you um you go on to the third year phase which is um actually acting normal i'm not sure if i should do ty or not what are you doing and what are your thoughts on it? On a personal level, my sister hated TY. She did not like it at all. My brother's doing TY right now and he said it's not fun. The only like fun thing about it is that you don't get homework and he can hang out with his friends all the time. But I am doing TY and in my opinion, I think I'm going to rock it. I would say do it because you get work experience out of it. And then if you like the work experience, you can keep at it for the summer and you have your summer job. Boom. Also, in TY, my brother said one of the best things about it is you make a lot more friends and you talk to people you never thought you would have talked to so yeah i would definitely recommend trying it anyways you never kissed a boy okay well let me tell you it is fun it's fun sometimes other times you're just like um i don't want to do this do i but most of the time you're like hey you gotta with buddy hey how do you start conversations i find it awkward please don't say my username in the video i don't say anyone's username you're fine Alyssa. Joking, you're not named Alyssa. What? And your name's not Alyssa. Can I speak? I don't know. I am the exact same. I cannot speak for shit. It's different speaking to a camera because I'm like, hey, 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 I can edit whatever I want out. Of course, like a thousand times this video and I have to edit out every single thing because my mother and dad will disown me as a child. Woo! -hoo! Here's a story time for you. I am really bad at talking to people as well, so I actually looked up on Safari. Good conversation starters. I don't know what the first one that came up was. How are you? You have to like this video if you have ever started a conversation by saying it's so cold because I know I have. How do you get over a boy you've liked for five years? Oh my god. Y'all are hitting me hard with these questions. Okay, so another story time. I used to like this boy since like first year to second year. Oh my god. Uh, why did I like him? He was that type of boy who was like, ooh, send me nudes. And I was like, huh, bitch, I don't even know how to pose. How do I tell my mom that I have a boyfriend? By the way, love you lots like jelly tots. That is really good. Oh. I didn't say your last name, so it's fine. Well, I would just go for it. If you are under the age of 12, though, you need to dump his ass because you have a life to live. You go off. You do it. Right? I shouldn't be saying your name. I'm not going to say your name. <laughs> In my opinion, I think you should just tell her because most mammies who have a child over the age of 13 are grand with it. But if you're under the age of 13, you better dump his ass because you've got a life to live before you start kissing boys. I feel like I have to look a certain way for a boy to notice me or consider me good looking. Oh my god, no! That actually breaks my heart that people who watch my videos actually have to think that. If a boy does not like you for the way you look at the start, they are not worth it. If you ever think you have to change for a boy to like you, oh my god, do not change ever, girls. That's like me saying to my cocker spaniel dog, oh, I don't like you, can you like change your colour? And she's turned into a comedian. How do you cope with bullying? You shouldn't have to deal with bullying at all. You need to immediately tell your mom, your dad, a teacher. You need to tell anybody. The reason people bully other people is because either something bad has happened in their life and they're trying to take it out on you, or they are jealous as frig. What to do if boys in your year are bullying, saying hurtful things? If they're only saying, oh, you're ugly or you're fat or you're disgusting or something like stupid like that, just let it go in one ear and out the other. Because that happens to me on a day-to-day -day basis, outside school, inside school, online, you name it. And it just goes straight through my brain. I'm 13 and I have two older sisters. I find it hard to live up to their expectations. You never need to think that you need to be the same as your sisters, honest to God. You could dress like them, you could do whatever you want, but never think that your personality is going to be the exact same as theirs because it's not. Well, I'm into social media and YouTube. My sister's into singing and my brother likes to do football. I'm playing the PlayStation and get friends on by all his friends who are girls. But anyways, that's not the point. Just be yourself and forget about that thought, please. Okay, so I didn't finish this video. What is new? Um, yeah. <laughs> if you guys want me to do a part two on this as there was so many girls who sent me in things which also thank you girls if you guys want to see a part two on this give this video a thumbs up and comment below to let me know just because there was so many girls that put in like loads of things and i feel like i should do another one because there were so many questions i wanted to answer but i also had to keep this video like short enough but that is it for this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up um oh, 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 oh. Oh, I gotta stretch you back. Oh, sorry.
<laughs> I don't know what that was. I literally, this is my third time saying this outro, um, but anyways, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you haven't seen my last video, I will link it down below so you can go watch it. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Mwah. That took me forever to say.